In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click the first option comes here, you can see here I've just put kind of a, a reverse triangle here and then I've added one a document design shape and then I've added the icon, the title and the detailed text. And you have added the option number here and and with a small a shadow effect at the bottom. And when I click, it will show me the second option with some different color combinations and then this is the third option and if you want to make it uh, more options also you can do something like this also whichever way you feel you can just add the options so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes under flowchart i'm going to select this one which is the document you can see a flowchart document draw the document maybe this much size shape outline you can make it no outline and then you can flip vertical and if you want the other side you can just say flip horizontal so i'm just going to increase the size further then go to insert shapes select the triangle draw the triangle shape outline for this also make it no outline and shape fill some different color i'm going to use it and let's rotate this also i'm just going to rotate flip vertical and then put it exactly here in the center make sure that it is properly aligned and go to insert shapes and i'm going to select the right triangle draw a right triangle you can see here again give some darker colors shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to rotate flip horizontal so you can see here let me just zoom in so it looks something like this and make sure that it is properly aligned press ctrl d to duplicate bring it the other side and then again rotate it flip horizontal so you end up getting the shape something like this and then you can give a gradient fill for that right mouse click select first of all select this right mouse click go to format shape under fill i'm going to select the gradient fill so by default you have got four stops i'm going to delete two stops you can see here we end up getting only two so one stop i'm going to give some dark color maybe i'm going to give this uh, dark this one and here i'm going to give somewhat a lighter color you can see here and here also you can use the same color combination with some darker color so and this one i'm going to give a light color you can see here some light color you can use it and if you want you can give the shape outline also something like this and once this is done you can add the shadow effect and some text here to give the shadow effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and for this also i'm going to give gradient fill and type i'm going to select radial and direction i'm going to select from center you can see here so here i'm going to select this and i'm going to make it a black color and the other side i'm going to make it white you can see here and white make it fully transparent and this also you can just increase the transparency a little bit then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here let me just increase the size further and you can see here i have just let me just make it more transparent also and then just send this to back so you can see here the shadow effect has been added now if you have the icons you can add the icons go to insert click on the icons and any icons of your choice uh, you can just simply add it if you don't have the icons you can skip this particular step also and let me just make it a 0.5 only the height and width add it here and the graphic fill i'm going to give the same color which i have used here then go to insert text box add your title your title here center align if you want you can make it a black font or some other font of your choice you can choose it and then you can add some detailed text here add your detailed text here 
we can see here just add the detail text reduce the size and here you can just add the option number here or step one or option one whichever way you want and center align increase the size you can see here let's put it here and once this is done you can if you want you can add a shadow effect also so i'm just going to select all or you can press ctrl a to select all ctrl g to group it you can see here so i'm just going to keep it one here ctrl d i'm going to add one more here in the center again ctrl d add it one more here and then just change the color and change the option numbers here so let me just select all press ctrl a and then just make sure it is uh, center aligned and then you can just go here and change the color of your choice whichever color you feel better you can just come and select it here one darker and one lighter color you can select a different color combination you can see here and this also you can select some dark colors so maybe i can just select some dark blue here and just press f4 key so that it will repeat so like this you can just change the color of your choice and this also icons also can be changed and if you want you can give a small animation effect to it let me just show you how to do the animations go to the animations tab enable the animation pane i'm then going to select this let me just ungroup this you can see here you can just select and right mouse click ungroup this so first of all i'm going to group this this document shape press ctrl g and then just say send this to back you can see here so you have to select this one hold the shift key and select one by one and press ctrl g to group it and then you can just send this to back something like this so let me just give you the animation i'm going to select this uh, go to the animations and add animation more entrance effect i'm going to give a stretch you can see here or you can give a wipe effect also you can see here wipe is better and once this is done i'm going to select the shadow effect and for this i'm going to give a fade and this should happen after previous and i'm going to select this give a wipe effect and effect options make it from right for this and for this again wipe and i'm going to select from left you can see here this should happen after previous and this should happen with previous so let me just play it looks something like this and then this also you can give a effect which is the stretch click ok and effect options say from bottom so it comes something like this and this should happen after previous and once this is done i'm going to add the animation on this part the option number add animation more entrance effects go to basic zoom and say ok and this should also happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here so similarly you can add the animation for the rest of the options that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.